Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all I'd just like to thank you all for watching my videos, the likes, the shares and comments and the great feedback you have left me on my videos. It's very much appreciated. So in this spray paint art tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a single layered stencil in your paintings. So for this tutorial I'm going to use a deer stencil. I've already drawn and cut it out using a craft knife. And the card I've used for this is 300 GSM gloss card, the same stuff as a spray on. Right then, with the stencil already being cut, I'll show you them both. So there's the one stencil, and there's the other stencil. So theoretically, you get two stencils from cutting one out. I'll be using both of these stencils and incorporating them into the painting. This will also be a tutorial on doing other things as well. I've also got lots more tutorials on my channel, so I'll put the links to them in the description box below. If you want to check them out also, feel free to. So then in this painting I'm going to be painting a moon. I'm going to have the background blue. I'm going to have some clouds and then some grass or something at the bottom. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is you're going to need a lid, to do the moon with. You're going to need a palette knife to sign your name with at the end. You're going to need a paint scraper or something so you can spray the paint on it. That's to do the texture on the moon. You're going to need a paint brush to do the grass at the end. Spare piece of card to spray some black on. Some magazine paper for the texture on your moon. And you're also going to need some weights for your stencils to, to hold them down. I just use nuts and bolts for these. So, I hope you find this tutorial helpful and you like it. And if so, please give it a like and share. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated. Right then guys, I'll just put these to one side and get the sheet that I'm going to spray on. And then we'll get started. Right then, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this stencil and we're going to put it where we want it. So I'll put it there and we're just going to spray around it black. Like so. This just gives an outline of where it's going to go. Right now, once you spray the black here, you're going to have to leave it to completely dry now because when you put the stencil on and it's still wet, the paint will stick to this and then when you pull it off later on, you'll most probably pull the paint off and some paper from underneath and that'll wreck your painting. And also, putting weight on it to hold it down will put more weight onto it so it definitely sink into the paint. So, what you want to do is, you want to leave this to naturally dry now Depending on the weather will depend on how long you need to leave it. It's cold here today so I'm going to have to leave this for at least 15 minutes before it dries. So, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea or something and I'll be back with you when it's dry. Right guys, I'm back now. So it's dry now. So, grab your stencil and put it where you want it to go. Like so. Now we're going to get some weight to hold it in place. So just get some weight and put them on where you want it to hold the card down. You see these fiddly bits here, these small detail parts, these are sticking up a bit. So you need some small weights, but they don't norm they don't stop on here. Because the small details like that makes it harder to hold it down. Get a few more. Put one there on its leg. Just go around checking where you need to put them. You might need small, small weights to go on the smaller parts. 
so. Just check, make sure I've been staying. Like so. So I think that's way down and that's ready. So next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the moon. So grab your lid stencil, put it where your moon's gonna go. And then get the black, do an outline of where your moon is. And then we're gonna grab a gray and your paint scraper. And then we're gonna spray the paint onto this scraper so it drips onto there to get a texture. So just spray it onto a scraper and let it drip off. Like so. And then we'll go to the black, do the same. white just a bit of white like so and then then go back to the gray color you're going to use and then just spray it all gray like so and then now, we're going to grab the magazine paper, don't fold it up or anything, just leave it flat. And then we're going to place it on top and we're going to pull the paint off. So, get it, dab it down, pull it off. Dab it, pull it off. Dab it, pull it off, and just carry on this until the texture comes through. So you can see now some of the texture is coming through. So, like so. weights I've just knocked off. Uh, as you can see there we've got some texture on it so it looks like craters or something on the moon. So we'll go back to the grey and we'll just give it a light coat in. Like that. And now we'll grab the white and just put a bit of white at the top. shadow here at the bottom with the black so like that so you want to leave this to dry now before you put a lid stencil on so the lid stencil doesn't stick to the paint underneath so because we took most of the paint off for now and we've only put light coats on I'm just going to leave this for couple of minutes just remember guys there's no need to rush when doing this just leave things to dry and then move on to the next stage after it's completely dry right then guys that's dry now so I'll just put this weight back on here like so grab your lid stencil and put it where your moon's gonna go I'm also gonna put some weights on here as well to hold the stencil down and also stop any overspray going underneath that's another reason why you want it to completely dry because putting more weight on it will push this lid into the paint more. So, next thing we're going to do is spray it black. So, grab your black. I 
use a different cap for this, a bigger one, a wider one, so it's faster to do the black. But he doesn't really like this paint, so I don't think I'm going to use these again. Right then, that's the background done, so we're going to add a bit of blue into it now. So, grab a dark blue, I'm just going to add a bit of blue into it. going to go through a few lights, lighter blues. As we get near the bottom, I'm going to go a bit lighter. Just a case of building it up now. Just bringing it, bringing all the colours together. I'm going to do it light at the bottom so then the deers will stand out more for this tutorial so you can see them both once I put them on. Grab a black, darken it up at the top a bit. Just gonna darken it up in places there. A bit darker right at the top. Like so. Right then, that's the background done. So the next thing we're going to do is put some stars in there. I have done a tutorial on stars. I'll put that in the description box with the rest of the tutorial. So if you want to check that out and any of the others, feel free to. So, grab the white paint. Spray a bit onto your fingers. And then just flick it onto a sheet. To make your stars. Like so. It's up to you how many stars you put on. Just carry on until you're happy with the amount of stars you've put on. Right, now the stars are in. What I'm going to do is, we're going to remove the weights on the deer stencil. Just be careful when you're doing this. So you drop, don't drop any on the wet paint. Because it will leave a mark. Right, now the weights are off, we're going to put some clouds in here. But with this being wet, you want to leave this to dry, really. Because when you put your clouds in, and you're using the stencil for your clouds, and you touch your paint, if it's wet, it'll lift the paint up. So, like I said before, just let each stage of a painting dry before you go on to the next one. And then you won't get marks and stuff where other things are stuck to the painting. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to carry on and do the clouds. You can also find a tutorial for making clouds in the description box below. So, what you want to do is grab your cloud stencil and your white paint. And we're going to put some clouds in across the bottom. So, grab your stencil and we're going to put it on and then just spray the white. Like so. Making, just move around as you spray them so you get different shapes. A 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a blue. And we're just going to spray a bit of blue in the clouds. Like so. And then go back to your cloud stencil. We're going to put another layer of clouds in. Like so, I'll just put a couple more there. Like that. As you can see here, yeah, and a bit there, there's a few marks on here where the cloud stencils hit the wet paint. So when I've moved the cloud stencil to go onto the next cloud, it's just pulled a bit of a paint off. So that's why I always say, just let things dry before you move on to the next stage. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the lid stencil off the moon. So like that. Put your lid stencil to one side and we're also going to take the stencil off the deer. So I'm just going to get my craft knife and we'll just lift it up. Take your time when you're lifting up, because you might, so you don't need the paint, the wet paint. So, that's a deer stencil there done. So we'll put that stencil to one side. And now, we're going to move on to the other stencil, which is this one. But before we put this one on, the entire painting's got to completely dry now, because we're going to be putting this on most of the painting. And if it isn't dry, this will completely stick to everything that's not dry. And also, we're going to be putting weights around here. So, we're going to have to wait for this to, to dry. So, I'm going to leave it 15, 20 minutes. Because like I said before, it's cold today. And I'll be back with you once it's dry. Right then, this is completely dry now after leaving it for about 20 minutes. So what we're going to do now is grab the other stencil and we're going to place it on here. I'm just going to line it up with the other one, roughly. So I'll put it about there, I think. And then we're going to get some weight and we're going to weigh it down around the outside. So grab your weight and just put it round. Like so. Doesn't matter how many weights you put on here. As long as it was dry before you put it on. Then you shouldn't have no problems with the amount of weights. So just put as many weights as you want on there. Until you're happy. That it's all down. You can just go around and check in places where it's raised a bit. So, got a piece there, so I'll just get a smaller weight. Piece there. And I'll put a small one there, like so. So I think that's all down now. Just move that one up a bit. Also, if you've got a small cutout like that, and you're using it, you can also put pieces of spare card round it to stop any overspray when you're spraying the stencil onto the other parts of the painting that you've already painted. Because the sheet's big enough, I'm not going to put any extra around it because I'm just spraying in this area here. So we'll grab the black and we're just going to fill it in black. So. So 
like so. And then remove the weights, just be careful of them falling over. And don't land on the wet paint. Chuck them to one side. That's all the weights off, and now we'll just remove a stencil. Take your time when you're removing this so it doesn't mark anything. So, that's a stencil off. I've done it like this so they're both touching each other, so it looks as though they're fighting in the moonlight. Two male deers. So, now we're going to get a piece of card, spare card, and we're going to spray some black onto it, yeah? So, just get your black sprayed onto the card. I'm just going to get a paintbrush. I'm just going to paint as over on a hill or on a ridge of a mountain or something. So, just get your brush and all we're going to do just paint it black like that. Just fill it in. Like so. Put a bit more there. Like that. Just rough it up a bit there. A bit more like that. Like so. And also putting the black here at the bottom, you can sign your name as well so it shows up a bit better. I'll just make this a bit more so that's where I'm going to sign my name. Oh, I'll just put it a bit higher there now. So, like that. I'm just going to use a smaller paintbrush, just going to add a bit of grass into it. So just get some black paint on your paintbrush. And we'll just put a bit of grass here and there. A bit between his legs. A bit more paint on. Just an up and down motion to do the to do the grass. I'll just put a bit, bit of grass here. So then that's the painting finished now, so I'm just going to give it a clear coat. Just sign your name where you want it. I'll just sign it here. Right then, guys, that's a clear coat on and the painting finished. As you can see, I've used the same stencil but in two different ways. 
one way by putting a stencil on first but sometimes if you have too much detail work on the stencil it may be hard to put the weights on as you could see when I was putting this stencil on I found it hard to weigh these small details down but all in all it came out alright and for this one it goes on last and you put the weights on the outside so you can put the weights around the detail work and it comes out a bit more better than that one because then you've got no overspray going underneath it you were putting this on last so all in all I think both of them worked pretty well give both ways a try when you're doing your stencil work and see how it goes just remember if there's a lot of small detail on it I'd rather use this one than that one because then you've got no risk of any overspray going underneath it where the weights aren't holding it down so I hope you enjoyed watching this spray paint art stencil tutorial and if you found it helpful please like and share it and let me know how you got on with yours in the comments below and if you need to ask anything feel free to just drop me a comment and I'll try and answer your questions also if you're a new visitor to my channel thanks for stopping by and watching one of my videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below once again thank you for watching one of my spray paint art videos it's very much appreciated I'll see you all in the next video have a great day take care and bye for now